A good applicant is, is based around a lot of the, the personal qualities that we look for when we're, when, we're, uh, when we're finding someone. So we don't look at a CV and say, right, that background's superb or that background's superb. We look for someone who's showed um, proven dedication to, to anything they've done in the past, ambition, um, and, and someone who's achieved and succeeded in, in any aspect of life in the past. So there's no specific um, formula that we're looking for, but a good applicant is someone who's, who's shown the desire and the personality and the, the, the willingness to succeed at something in the past. The background that you come from isn't as important as some people might think. What's important is an individual's approach, their aptitude and their, their desire and ambition in terms of what they actually want to do. So somebody who's trained in a particular area or done a particular degree uh, doesn't put themselves in a, at a particular advantage over anyone else. It's actually more about uh, how they come across rather than where they've come from. A wise man once said that in this world, advice is given for free, but good advice is priceless. I think he might have well have had a point, and you could do a lot worse than ask those in the know what the best way to get into their industry is. What advice do our IT professionals have for the clueless, stick-wielding masses? Some advice that I would, that I would give to anybody is that um, if you can get the opportunity to, to get as much experience as you possibly can. I was lucky to lucky enough to, to find a company where I, I could do some structured work experience, but I kept that going off my own back and you know it shows the company um, keenness and, and a will to get on and, and, and be involved and achieve and, and what you learn from that is is something that you can't learn in a classroom. It's getting out there and doing it. And I think there are, there are opportunities for people who put themselves forward for that um, to gain that sort of experience. And if you show the keenness, I think companies will be only too welcome to encourage people like that. So I would certainly um, advise people, if, if that's possible, to, to get out and get experience under their belt. I'd say that um, work experience is not essential. Uh, life experience is. What we're really looking for is people who are bright and who are intelligent people who may have come from many different backgrounds. So the fact that someone's not worked before, if you've been involved in whether it be maybe sports or whether it might be involved in extracurricular activities like Duke of Edinburgh award schemes, scout groups, um, territorial army, whatever it may be, those bring you valuable life experience that we might be able to use and maximise in our environment. The most important thing that a graduate needs to know when making a, a decision about their career is they need to understand what motivates them themselves. Um, you are naturally much better at doing something that you're good at. So if it's something that you enjoy, first of all make sure you've made that decision. Then it's about looking at where you can apply that in a number of different areas. In terms of the IT sector, if that's the area they enjoy, look at the specifics of the IT sector. There are different types of role that you can have. And is it that you want to work in IT or is it that you want to work in a finance or an HR or a marketing function within an IT organisation? So the most important thing is to understand what you enjoy, understand what you're good at, and then on that basis ensure that you find the right organisation to meet that. Do some research yourself and find someone or find a company and just talk to them and find out about the job because you might have an idea about a job and then go into it and it's completely different from what you're thinking. So, I mean, I'd seek advice because you don't really want to put it off and then be landed with a career that you don't want. Going in without any idea of uh, who, uh, who you're approaching obviously doesn't make sense. Um, and you know, I think it's, it's more from the applicant's point of view than from the interviewer. You're going to spend quite a lot of your life in, in this place you choose to go and work in. So make sure it's somewhere you do want to go and work in. I'm not looking specifically for someone who's got a, a first, a second, a, a, a third, or whatever it might be. I'm looking for someone who um, has shown attributes all the way through their learning at, at, during their degree and extracurricular activity at the same sort of time to prove um, that they've, they've learned at university as opposed to learned specifically for our business at the university. If graduates are looking for a direction in terms of the career that they want to go in, I really recommend um, networking, um, talking to people in different industry sector, sectors, um, different pro uh, professions, um, just to get an insight into what the challenges are in the role, um, what does the role entail, as well as external um, expertise out there, graduate affairs. I think it's important to know what you want to do with your career. So instead of people influencing you too much. I think you need to have it clear in your own mind what interests you, what motivates you, 
and what can sort of drive you forward in the future. Um, working for a large company is good in the respect that they, they've got the money to invest in you, to, to, to develop you. Um, and I think to work in the IT sector is good because it's, it's moving forward all the time, it's rapidly changing, it's not going to um, be, it's not going to be out of date and you will always be doing something different.